go down to the cow pie and get some mushrooms and take a big old bite mm. and you can about visit a place like <laughs> this. Now probably if it wasn't for the mushroom, I'd probably never have made something like this here. Because I carved little faces and stuff and where I first seen the woodspear stuff was out in the cow pie, was down in Florida. But uh, I don't know, I mean, it's the kind of place I like to live in. You know, I mean, if, if I could see it, this would be my idea home. You know, I mean, you know, you know, I don't know. When Stephanie, our daughter, was small, Jean would always drive her and the neighborhood kids about little people, little pumpkins that stood about thumb tall. You know, they'd go on vacation with us, they'd go everywhere, and we'd tell us, you know, bedtime stories about them, you know. And these were the houses they'd live in out in the woods, and we'd uh, go out in the woods in the stories, and they would have like Ice Cream Mountain, and they'd be going to have a big old race down Ice Cream Mountain. So all the boy pumpkins eat a lot of beans, so he would kind of shoot them down the mountain when they far, yeah. <laughs> you know. So, so uh, the kids growing up with pretty good imaginations, <laughs> you know. Well, can you tell me something about how you carve them or something, or is that a secret? Oh, uh, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I take a little flat wood chisel, and I take and just look at them and see where I want the steps, and I take a little hammer and a chisel and I cut them out and I come up the steps and then when I get to the doors I cut out the doors you know and, uh, this here's moss mm -hmm. it, it could be uh, reindeer moss but we're not sure and this here are lichens lichens <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. you know and this down here's the little mushrooms uh, yeah that, uh, that little mushrooms mm -hmm. yeah that little mushrooms Oh yeah, like little, little yeah. things yeah, on the know. trees. Yeah, they're not the kind you can eat. You know, crystals. You know, and this is a magical crystal that uh, it takes and uh, its energy goes all out through Irvin's house, and his house is filled with magic because of this crystal. Mm -hmm. That's why he seems so happy all the time. <laughs> that and good herb. <laughs> Yeah, and, and knowing good people probably helps him smile a lot too. Yeah, you got, you you got a little door handle, huh? Yeah. Little door handle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just drill a little hole and take a little twig. Mm -hmm. Any power, power, power tools or just all hand? No, this is all just a little flat wood chisels. You know, I mean, in doing the faces and stuff, I got, you know, little V tools and stuff that cuts mm -hmm. out the hair and all that. But this, now these here are just low. Uh, not standing chisels. Okay, you just flat that way and turn it off. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I mean, well, you got to see it first. You got to imagine it first, right? Well, that, I'm good at looking at stumps in nature and getting stuff out of them. That's I'm what not, I mean. You've seen it. Yeah. You know, that's the meat and mushrooms. Yeah, so, uh, where does it come from? Yeah. I got to come from imagination. It's imagination. Yeah. You don't be able to see that. Because I'm amazed with her stick man out there. <laughs> the the, the, the yard spirit. The, the, the yard spirit tree. The, the man, the wood man. Oh, yeah. yeah I thought, how do, how, do you, how do you see that? Well, you got to use your imagination. I make mm -hmm. stuff too, and as I'm cutting up the tree, I, I don't want to waste anything, so I always wait and see if I see something special, and I'll save it if it looks like a person or something special. And speaking of people, you know what this stuff is? These little guys. Um, resin, hemp resin. It's yeah, it's called Bakelite. And this is uh back you know, years ago when they used to um make plastics, some of the first plastics out of cellulose and the best source of cellulose was hemp. That's what they made it out of, so this is hemp plastic bakelite. Hmm. And we could do we could do that again. We'd we'd have better plastics if we were I thought that was well, it's heavy. I thought that was ivory. No, and they, they used to make telephone insulators or power line insulators out of Bakelite too. Remember the hip fiber? Or cellulose. Or, or yeah. cellulose is from the herds. The well, I know they turn, I know Henry Ford, when he made, that's what he made the, the Ford car to run on was hemp oil. He hemp always fuel. made the best of the finest herbs. <laughs> Driving in the massacre gardens of yeah. Lough Lord. Uh -huh. 
I don't remember where that may be. Well, I, I love that thing. It's fun having it in the house, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> the, the grandkids, I made all them one. And then I make them lamps and tables so they all have it when I go. And uh, I need to get me a few more to make for a few more people. It's hard to get the stirrups now. And I'm not sure if that's because I'm just too lazy to get out and go talk to people or you know, just most people don't wanna you know, but used to if somebody's gonna cut up a bunch of trees and destroy them, mm -hmm. they'd call me. And now a lot of these people that used to call me, they done died and moved on to the next line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so uh the yeah, time changed. Yeah. 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 Y